Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Hi, you guys. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and thank you for being here. Okay, what is going on? So Megan is pretending like she's going to be back on Suits. I'm pretty certain she wrote the article or had the article written for her. Uh, had it public, well, she contributed, obviously, because she does, she tends to do this virtue signaling of what she's going to do. Oh, she's doing an Instagram. Oh, she's opening the TIG again. So she's this whole narrative of her going back to suits and that she's, it's the, it's huge, guys. It's, it's in the article, it stated swapping school and running for the, the, um, the dream role and new suit spinoff. And it's a huge, huge, it's huge, you guys, huge, biggest TV deals of the year, of the year. How grandiose is that? With her commanding position, more grandiosity and self-importance, and they want her back and willing to pay whatever it takes. Oh my gosh, can you believe that, you guys? Um, I just think someone needs to get her some lithium. She needs some lithium, you guys. She's really off her rocker. Um, it's just, like I said, virtue signaling to check to see what the public thinks. Public's already spoken. They don't want her. We've already spoken. But, you know, she's going to keep trying. She's going to keep putting it out there. It's that persistence. They just don't give up. That She can't read the room, can't read the world, can't read the globe. Another uh, thing's going around. Uh, there was a, cute, a very good reel of her on Instagram, and it was titled Unoriginal. And basically, it just shows how her life is nothing but a series of scripts and movies. It basically showed how every relationship she was mirroring, such as Corey, uh, the chef from Canada. All of a sudden, she became a chef. All of a sudden, and they broke up, and it did say it in this little reel about how they broke up over a recipe. It's because she went on TV, and she claimed his spaghetti sauce recipe was hers. Pasta sauce, excuse me. Uh, and, you know, she mirrors, she mirrored suits uh, in terms of uh, the, the parental thing, you know, oh, my dad, I'm a daddy's girl, whatever. And then apparently there was a fallout on suits with her TV dad. And then the mother comes in and the mother becomes the hero. I don't know. I've never watched suits, but that's what this real kind of indicated. And it just goes to show how she copies things. I know with the, uh, the car, the, there was a commercial with, um, another actress. And that was where her car idea came from about driving a jalop and, having to go out the through the backside of the car, that becomes part of her reality. Everything she does is total fabrication of what she sees on TV. All the ideas are from like fantasy and other people. There's like no true self when someone's doing that. It's just, um, she really needs to be medicated. And then there was another picture with Harry uh, in the seat situation, or actually, actually, she was more in front of him, and he was walking behind her, and he had his hand touching the front of his throat, and I thought, that's interesting. I wonder what the body language experts have to say about that, so I did a quick Google search and looked it up, so basically, when someone's touching the front of their neck, that means that they're, they're, think they're, they're very nervous about what they want to say or what they're about to say. So he knew he was going to have to confront, why are we sitting here? Where's our box seats? Why aren't we with the PRs? Along with another spin they're putting out there that they stayed in this top-notch hotel and they were just treated like gold and this and that. And they were just, you know, they were favored and VIP, blah, blah, blah. But they certainly didn't get the VIP seats in the common, common seating area. Um, so it just keeps going and going. And then Harry also, he's not doing anything about that African situation, uh, with young girls being, uh, I'm just going to say B for, you know what, T for, mm -mm, and R, uh, kind of like, um, you can just kind of figure it out. Um, and he's done that before. He did it when he was in the military in Afghanistan. He did it with, uh, working women. And uh, there, that's no secret. So that's why a lot of people think that he's just sitting on his duff and doing nothing about it because he doesn't probably see a problem with it. Well, that's just how we operate. That's how he operates. What's the problem? Uh, it is what it is, you know, and there's that no growth, no change. I am who I am. Uh, I'm perfect as I am. I don't need to do anything. So I think that's that like-mindedness of him. That's why he doesn't care. And, and it's not, it's not, it's, he'll just 
call it off onto someone else and have someone else take care of it. He has no involvement, as we know. He's too lazy for any involvement. So just um, really um, concerning, really concerning. So let's get some cards on uh, Suits. And they don't have her number. They don't have her number, you guys. Suits doesn't have her number. So I guess this is her pushback. Oh, and Archie. The other, oh, and Archie too. Archie's sick. Archie went in the hospital. Archie apparently allegedly was in the hospital uh, with a high fever. Uh, but during that time, she was actually said to have already been in Jamaica. So another spin, another lie. Hanging out with the silver fox, apparently. And having a great old time without Harry while Harry was getting his fake award. She was already there. So uh, let's get some energy on this. Um, and and she would not be she would not be happy with suits. To her, that would that's a that's a downgrade. That's not an upgrade. And no cable TV is going to have the biggest deal of the century. There's no way. That's just that's like box office major studio stuff. Not some cable TV that's going to have the biggest deal of the century or the decade or the year. Uh, it's just hilarious how much she fabricates and blows everything up. Really sick. Really, really sick. And I, I do get more and more, see more and more commenters and public speakers pointing out how sick she is. It's it's pretty frequent now. So, uh, And I think this is why she's getting sicker and sicker because the mask is being ripped off and she can't get people to believe her. And get this, you guys. She wants to be known as Modest Megan. Modest Megan. Nobody's going to believe Modest Megan. I think she's hoping that that will trend. Oh, Modest Megan. She's so modest. She's so modest she wrote that, that whole article of grandiosity about herself. Say, here, print this. And I'll pay you. <laughs> I think she's trying to mirror Catherine. The modesty of Catherine. You know, a private life, keeping things private. Okay, so modesty. Modesty is her next angle, you guys. And that kind of goes in line with wanting to be that earthbound queen of queen of earth, the queen of pentacles, you know, peaceful and just down to earth. So she wants to be seen as that queen of pentacles. And I kept getting that queen of pentacles often. That's how she really wants to be seen right now. That perfectly earth mother who's good with pets, kids in the garden, and that ideal partner who found her place in life. And she's fertile. Yeah, she's fertile. And she's just this domestic goddess of peaceful abundance. But, you know, this peaceful abundance, you know, Queen of Pentacles is going to go become a, a director and, and get the biggest deal of the century uh, on, on suits, you know, and that they are going to pay her what she wants. So how does she feel, truly feel about her, her fake narratives? How is she feeling right now? Because I already know that's all fake. And I know she needs lithium. And that's something. So. How does she feel? How does she feel? How does she feel about her fake narratives and wanting to be seen as modest Megan? Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. It's Megan Markle, the American psycho, that's actually trending. But she wants to switch it up. She wants to switch it up. There we go. Ooh, there we go. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take it from there. There. First one. Yes, yeah, she wants to break up and divorce from that image. <laughs> the devil in reverse. Yeah, all right, sure, Megan. Okay, let's get to the bat bottom of the deck. Yeah, her, she's mentally crashing and burning here. She can't take it anymore. She's losing her fight. Her vigor is going down. It's come to the end of the road, and so she's going out swinging. I'm not toxic anymore. I broke up with my dark side. <laughs> I'm not toxic. Those patterns are gone now. I'm free from all those illusions. I'm now telling everyone the truth. And um, she's hoping all these decisions will be in the best interest for herself and for everybody and she's in a you know she's getting away from unhealthy toxic patterns and she has a new sense of freedom and she's free from oppression and and illusions and no i'm not on drugs no i'm not looking for a fuel and no i'm not going to control you no i no one's chained to me nope i'm not a taker i'm a giver I'm not going to give you any heartache and pain. I'm not going to hurt anyone. I'm not going to be dependent on addiction or anybody else. I'm not an empty vessel, you guys. I actually have something going for me. No, she is an empty vessel who's pretending. That's just how I feel. But she wants people to think that she broke up from that, that side of herself. She knows everyone sees her as an empty vessel. You know, just kind of like, hey, 
uh, South Park did a perfect uh, depiction of her, right? So she doesn't like that South Park situation. She was trying to reverse that South Park. Now I'm not an empty vessel. And she has no conscience. We have here the Nine of Swords in reverse. In this position for her with the devil, she has no conscience. She doesn't. She doesn't have a conscience. She doesn't cry over anything. She's not going to... She's not going to be bothered. She's not going to be bothered by what she says and what she does. She doesn't care. I could take a step back. I could take a step back momentarily and pretend like I'm healing. For her, it's pretending. She isn't healing. It's all pretend, but it's very unfulfilled because it's a nine in reverse. That nine in reverse, it's a negative completion. I really don't want to have to take a step back from controlling other people and I'm parting like a hardcore person. Nope, I got to change the narrative. I got to be the modest Megan. So, yeah, this is not, she's not happy doing it. Uh, and with the devil, let's see, the devil's value, get my glasses on, because I got to have my glasses on, is a 15. And it's a 15 in reverse, so with that 15 in reverse, there's no sparks. She can't spark anything. Oh, she won't like that. That's why it works for her, because they can spark whatever they want. So, basically... It's inner focus. It's delayed. Oh, I'm just going to delay this. And it, it lowers her confidence too. So there's a lot of self-doubt. You know, that seed of doubt actually ends up coming in because there's no business. There's no smart sparks. Nothing is happening. So that's why she has to act like she's given up on controlling everybody and everything and, and being a total uh, control freak. Uh, so she's not going to, she's not happy either. There's absolutely no happiness in this. So no, focal point here. There's no, there's no redeeming her. She's, she's broken some laws. Uh, this is a criminal position with the world in reverse. And there really is no redeeming this chick, okay? Give her some lithium, okay? And also with the world in reverse, is it feels like the world uh, the world is against her. Yeah, the world's against her, so she's going to flip that narrative. where She's very psychopathic traits, and she, oh, she doesn't fit in. It's a negative closure and conclusion for her. Uh, a lot of wash and repeat. So this is why she's virtue signaling. I'm going to be the biggest thing in suits, you know. So very contemptuous, no empathy. Um, you know, everything feels unfinished. I'm not done yet. I've got one more play up my handbag here. I'm going to play it up. I'm going to play it up. I Just watch me. I don't care. I'm going to break some laws here. Some Actually, it's breaking universal consciousness laws uh, pretty much with this card because that's a universal consciousness card. So she doesn't really care about the world. It's just, it's her world. It's the world, but everyone's in her world. <laughs> You're in my world. I don't care about the world. If you step into mine, it's my world. Uh, with that lack of empathy, criminal aspect, and the world owes me, you really are stepping into a movie, and it's her movie. Going into the future, she wants to be seen as nurturing, loving, empathetic, and kind, and a mother. Oh, I had to, oh, Archie was in the hospital, and I, I couldn't go to the fake award aviations because I was with Archie. Let's make everyone think that she is modest Megan. Yeah. And that, um, you know, she's, she's a gentle person, and she's a teacher of life. At the root cause here, it's full, it's full collapse here with the tower in reverse unlikely to ever rebuild she's not she's not building herself up from the ashes this is hey i can shed my snake skin and i can rebuild myself i could shock people and, and actually do some good but no no she can't do that she can't do that it's completely beyond her control it's extreme oppression and envy scorched earth and it's what she's trying to avoid this is why she keeps putting out these show these fake narratives this you know um, I'm, I'm doing this next. Now I'm doing this. Now I'm, I'm going back on IG. I'm doing twid. I'm doing this. I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing, and she never does anything. It's just a wash and repeat of feeling like total scorched earth. She's having no breakthrough here. Absolutely no breakthrough. So this whole narrative of getting this big deal, she's going to be a director and they're going to pay her whatever. There's absolutely no breakthrough and no, they don't want her. No, we don't have your number. It is scorched earth with suits. And it's a very shaky ending for her. This is like a total earthquake. Complete earthquake. And it's a major life event that she can't pick herself back up. It's a, a value of 16. So back to no new sparks, no new beginnings. Uh, it's inner, becomes inner focused, impotency. Nobody wants her. Nobody's interested. It's being ignored. Uh, she's going to go inner focused and think about, you know, oh my God, how am I going to rebuild myself? So this is a kind of a mental collapse, I would say. So she's mentally collapsed. She can't feel anything for anyone. So I'd say she's shut down. Everyone's against me. So her psychopathic traits 
are really on fire right now, pretending like she's not a toxic, a toxic piece of garbage who let, who's just basically letting the garbage out on her own. But she's going to pretend, she likes pretending, that everybody wants her. Everybody wants me. Everyone wants to do business with me. Everyone wants to heal with me. Everyone wants to help me. I'm going to partner up with people. And also, she romance. She can't find that early stage relationship. Sure, she might have a little nooky nooky, but it's, probably, it's not a real relationship. That's probably crashing and burning too. So the end game's coming to a total burn. The wheels are off. Um, she cannot, she cannot beat over the obstacles that she's been facing. She's not Victoria. She's losing. She's a loser who's crashing. She's a loser. She's a loser. She's a, she wants to pretend like she's not. She's basically going to do a wash and repeat with this. Cause this is either, either heal it or, or repeat it. Well, she will repeat it and it'll go right back to here. She will flip and flop. Absolutely. And that's another thing people were talking about on Twitter uh, was that um, her agitation, her agitation looked very manic and um, that manic energy uh, has a lot of restlessness. So that's kind of like bipolar ish. So she does kind of have this bipolar uh, restlessness and agitation. And so that's basically she was probably in that kind of headspace, by the way. And she will wash and, you know, she'll say, okay, I can do it now. I can't, now I can, now I can't, uh, now I can, now I can't. And it's how I feel with her. And yeah, she doesn't have someone that she can depend on. She's running out of money, running out of money and opportunities. And nobody will hop, will, will, will be there for her to pick her up. Where is Marcus? Where is Marcus when you need him? Uh, yeah. So maybe Marcus is a little busy, uh, nonetheless, but she doesn't have what she's looking for, which is a guy with big bucks. You know, she wants a bait. She wants a bezo. She she wants to she wants to knock other women out. She is she is a uh, a relationship encroachment kind of girl. So I can see why um, Jeff's girlfriend had a real issue with her, and and wanted to set her up uh, because she doesn't want to lose her man to Megan trying to uh, flirt and birth something new with him. She's looking for a rich guy. She wants a billionaire. She doesn't want just any guy. He's got to be a billionaire. She's not going to find, I mean, no, no one's going to take her. I mean, it would be shocking, really shocking. So basically it's very self-serving for her. Uh, she can't find anyone who will share their money. She can't find anyone that she can rely on. It's a total failure. Uh, no investments are coming in. Whatever guy she's thought she could uh, try, which she, she tried with uh, Gordon Getty, it never panned out. And that's kind of what the cycle has been. Nobody's panned out because this is back here and he's in reverse. And she's been trying to birth and nurture and act like this loving, nurturing woman. And it's just not working out. It's just full scorch. She's, get, she's getting exhausted here. She's exhausting herself. I thought she looked like she was exhausting Harry, but she's actually um, exhausting herself. Totally. I wouldn't be surprised if she has like, like a total um, letdown where she does. There it is. So I was just going to say that <laughs> narc collapse feels like death. Nothing's happening. She can't heal it. She can't pray it away. She can't meditate away. Uh, she can't heal it away. The solitude's killing her. Uh, she, you know, she can't regenerate herself. All her plans are falling apart and it's basically quicksand. It's intellectual quicksand. Uh, there's no stability for us. Uh, upright is about stability. That's where you can build yourself back up. You can get grounded again. You can find yourself. You can find your stability and, and, and work your way out of it and plan your next moves. She has no next move. She doesn't know what her next move is because four of swords upright is knowing is, is prayer, meditation, healing. I'm going to plan my next move while I'm down and out. While I'm down and out. See, this is what she'd prefer to have. While, while I'm down and out, I can pray, meditate, and plan my next move and come up with a really good idea. Uh, she doesn't even have ideas. So this is why she's sort of recycling stuff. This is why she's recycling. I'm going to do this. Uh, we've heard the whole suits thing before, just like we've heard all these other amazing deals before, and they never do pan out. Next position here, unlikely to ever rebuild. Extreme oppression again. It's a, another 10, a very negative conclusion. Um, this here, nobody will help her. Um, you know, no one's coming for her and she has to let go. She's going to try to let go of the guilt and the burdens, uh, of what's happened. Uh, and it's, it's basically no reconciliation, no reconciliation 
with with previous supply sources she thought she can get and snag and get their money and their resources. Sorry, I'm not interested, Megan. So nobody's interested. She would like to unload all her burdens onto other people, but nobody's there for her. There's no plan, and he's not coming. He's not coming. It's just a wash and repeat. Oh, my God, what am I going to do? This is total scorched earth. I'm pretending I'm okay now, but I can't handle it anymore, and I'm at a rock bottom pretty much. And um, she's basically going to go with the victim stance. I'm a victim. You know, um, I'm going to try not to feel any guilt. You know, she, she knows she's just going to let the guilt off onto someone else, blame someone else. I'm the victim, blame someone else, and just take the full victim stance. So I'm the victim of the world. The world's against me. So that's why we have the world's against me. Everybody hates me and the world's against me. So we have two kind of the world's against me positions <clears throat> because she's not rising up. No, she's not getting suits. No, she's not. Nope. Nope. No one likes her. No one liked her on the set either. She was a pain. She was an absolute pain. And this is complete shite. So yes, no. Uh, as British would say, she's an arse. She was an arse. And uh, a pain. A real pain. Definitely unliked. Uh, she isn't very gifted. She's not creative enough. She's not a very good actress. This is someone who's very, very good at public work. Uh, has the ability. It's the sexual card too. Got to mention that Queen of Wands is very sexual. They use her sexual energy, and her sexual energy is not working on anyone. That magnetic sexual energy of pretending to be popular and everybody wants me and everybody likes me, and that other narc game that they like to play was the triangulation and to pretend like they're in such high demand. And that's kind of what she's doing with the suits thing is pretending like she's in high demand and everybody wants me. And if she throws that out there, then everyone's going to think, Oh my God, we got to hire Megan before someone else gets locks this deal down. And that's really why she's doing it. She's set. It's a virtue signaling. So you better lock me down before someone else gets me, but no one wants her. Nobody wants her. She's nasty and mean. Uh, she's lost her true self. So it's back to what I was saying earlier with that unoriginal, um, unoriginal Megan, uh, series of clips on Instagram that was incredibly fitting of how life's a movie, but she has no true self. So that's why she mirrors and mimics absolutely everyone she gets, she comes across. It becomes who she is. As we know, HG's talked about this. They mirror, they mirror people they're jealous of that they, or that they admire greatly. Typically it's with jealousy and, uh, it's just not working. Her, her, the, it's, it's full narc collapse and, and collapse. And she has to give up the gig here. She has to give it up. And she's really unhappy, temperamental, very angry, very bruised ego. That whole erratic dramatic is coming off. So that's that severe agitation we saw at the Bob Marley sitting in the seats where she's like clenching onto a chair and her body language is so stiff and Harry's looking like, Oh my God, Oh my God, Oh my God, I gotta fix this. I gotta fix this. So she, he knew, he knew she was going to blow her lid. I mean, really blow it. This is like someone incredibly scary to be around. This is like throwing tea glasses and whatever's nearby. Probably, you know, a total bully. She wears a mask. She doesn't have a true self. She's got to be a wallflower. She's got to settle with being a wallflower because she really doesn't have a personality. She's very dull and boring, and that's why she's got to fake it. No one wants to see her fakery because she can't even fake it very good. She really can't. And probably the only way she could fake it really good is if she's on drugs. If she's on drugs to calm her down. So I would say with this, she's not on medication. The devil needs medication. She needs her lithium. <laughs> she needs her lithium. Yes. Okay, I'm going to keep pulling. What do I have here? Yeah, it's debatable. She's trying to debate, okay, what can I do? I know I hurt myself with my fantasies and illusions of the moon card. I've got psychosis going on because I'm so angry. What am I going to do now? I really screwed myself. Yeah, you screwed yourself with your own shite. Here we go. So the two, the two of swords here is she's got her emotional wall of defense up, and she's preventing herself from growing because that heart chakra is blocked. She doesn't want to see or hear anything about about why people dislike her so much and what about her sick mental illness. She doesn't want to hear about how mentally sick she is. She doesn't want to know it. And that's why she's not on medication. It's why she's not on drugs. She needs to be on drugs. So that's the only way she comes across as being more upbeat, friendly. That's when she's actually kind of her better self is when she's on, when she's on something, be it street or med or 
pharmaceutical. She needs that. She needs it to calm the devil in her. And she needs drugs. She needs medication. And without it, look at her. She's completely falling apart. She doesn't want to see or hear or feel it. She's setting herself up for failure here. And she kind of knows it. She knows she doesn't love anyone. She doesn't love anything. She doesn't want to see what people are saying about her. Yeah, okay, I'm mentally sick, but let's not talk about it. I've gotten this before. Yeah, I'm sick. I'm this. I, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's forget about that. So she's not willing to even go into treatment. Uh, she's disassociated from reality right now. So that's part of that article about her getting the huge, biggest TV deals of the year. And she's going to be directing it. Yes, she's going to be directing it and playing a part. No, you're not. Because that would be the actress right there, the actress boss, the director and the actress. No, you're not. So back to virtual signaling lies. Yeah. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. That is Megan for you. And it doesn't change. No, it doesn't. So let's get some more cards. Harry, Harry not doing anything about the African situation. Kind of like uh, Oprah. Oprah did the same thing. She didn't do much either. The birds of a feather stick together or flock together, right? Be careful who you keep company with because you become just like them, as some say. And I think he already was like her. That's why they had like-mindedness, just like the sugars. If they don't go away, then you know they're like-minded. <laughs> That's how it goes. Okay, Harry, 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 Harry. What's Harry going to do? The kitchen's getting hot. The kitchen is getting so hot for you, Harry. Harry, Harry, everybody's saying, Harry, what are you going to do about this, Harry? You're not doing anything, Harry. Will Harry step up to the plate? Probably not. Will Harry step up to the plate? Will Harry step up to the plate? Will he step up to the plate? Hmm. No, he won't. He doesn't care. It's not idolistic. Nah, I don't want to do that. If, it's a, if I want to be an idolistic person, I'd show up. So no, I don't want to. I'm a fraud and I don't care. I don't have any feelings in the situation. I simply don't care because I'm dark and antisocial and it's a superficial connection anyways. And I'm emotionally repressed and I simply don't care. I don't care. All right, the truth is out, but it's all for show and I don't care. So no, he doesn't care. Very antisocial, sort of psychopathic, uh, you know, all the dark clusters right here, okay? <clears throat> Not doing, he's mm, no aces. No aces in the feelings at all. Doesn't care. One iota. Unbelievable. It's a two in reverse. So that two in reverse represents, eh, I'm, I'm disharmony. Yeah, what is that? Things are having a problem, man, eh, whatever. It's a little imbalanced. Oh, well, you know, it, I guess they'll figure it out. Yeah, there's a little bit of opposition facing me right now, but I'm just going to break ties and not care because the two in reverse is breaking ties, disinterested breakup. I don't care. I'm not going in. No, they need balance. They need me to step in and do something. I'm not going to do it because the two upright is going in to create balance. No, not going to do it. I could care less. I could care less. Yeah, they got a problem, all right? Yep, okay, I heard about it. So this time for him, it's upright. All right, they'll do something about it. They could spark change. They can find their harmony without me. They'll they'll, they'll rebuild. They'll, they'll fix it. I don't need to show up. No, he doesn't need to show up. Mm -mm. Let's get to the challenging position. I feel like shuffling. Challenging position. Challenging position. He's wild and free. Why would I need to go and do that? I just want to be free and have a good time because I'm like a young boy. I'm like a child. I'm really only 12 years old just having fun. Leave me alone because I'm a page boy. I'm a page boy of wands and I have my freedom and I'm just having fun. I'm just traveling. Nope, I don't have time for that. Mm -mm. No, no. They'll, they'll, they'll talk about it. Yeah. All right. It is what it is. I see what it is. Okay. Who cares? I'm free. I'm doing what I want. I've got my own wand going and the yellow is there. The yellow represents high consciousness. He's very consciously aware of what's happening. Oh, I know. I know, but I don't care. Yeah, I was told. I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he doesn't care. He knows. Very, very aware of it. So it's not like he doesn't know. He's been informed. And let's get to the focal point for Harry, the focal point. Well, that just wants out and it's staying there. The mask is off. They know what a liar he is. What a little liar snake here. He's been exposed here, exposed and busted, and he must go out and apologize. Uh, he could drop all pretenses. No one knows. Everyone knows what a little snake he is. He's like a little thief, and he doesn't care. He doesn't care. He's just going to take take credit where credit's not due. Yeah, yeah, okay, I took some credit for all of that, but I, I never did care, and now you know that... 
he probably took credit for it somewhere along the lines. I guess he, he never really put in any effort because this is about not putting in any effort and just taking credit for it. Kind of, it's like, it's a very much a covert narcissist position. The card is a covert narcissist uh, and doesn't care. And just as the mask is ripped off, he never did care. He was just gonna play big guy. I'm just gonna look like, kind of like his aviation award. I'm just gonna make it look like I'm a big guy. Here we go. And the four of pentacles in reverse represents, uh, he knows he should drop the behavior. Uh, he doesn't wanna draw, he doesn't, he's gonna lose it too. Uh, it's going to be a lost relationship, lost money, lost opportunity. So he's kind of screwing himself <laughs> because he's not going in fixing it because he doesn't care. So they're going to not care about him in return. Well, Harry, we know what he is now. So no one's going to want to work with him is going to be the problem while he's off having his little fun little boy time being a 12-year-old, an antisocial 12-year-old at that, who's also running out of money. And losing all resources. He can't even get his family back. Uh, and so basically he's lost relations, lost possessions. He's just spending money more than he's bringing in. He's not bringing in money. He's not saving anything. Uh, he's not conservative with the spending. So he's having to spend his own money to go fly in, to go take care of it. I'm not doing it because no one's going to pay for my flight. Who's going to take care of my flight? I expect a jet with leather seats, five-star meal, security guards. Who's going to come pick me up and take me and give me everything I want and need? It's kind of like a diva on the Hollywood list with all their demands. His demands won't be met. I'm not spending my money, so I'm not showing up. Hidden energy. Hidden energy. Hidden energy. I've got here. He's not going to work on it. He doesn't care. I'm going to spend some time alone. I'm not going. I'm not going. Wow. Really doesn't care. He's going to claim he's not going because someone could kill him. It's too dangerous. It's too dangerous, but really he's an inconsiderate person who's not willing to work on it. And he never did work on it. It was all for lie and show and tell anyways. He never was interested. Uh, that night in reverse, he's going to say, well, it's too unstable the place for me to go. we got two fours here. Uh, literally falling off his horse, falling off his horse, making no change, no action is taken. No movement. I'm staying put. I'm going nowhere because I never wanted it anyways. I lied anyways, and I just was taking credit for it. And who's going to who's gonna pay for my flight anyway? So it's just a little too dangerous. But he's just an inconsiderate, you know what, who's lazy. He's lazy. He's always been lazy. Uh, that Knight of Pentacles in reverse is Mr. Lazy. He's Mr. Lazy. I'm just going to spend time alone. Yeah, playing probably video games. That's, that's what he's doing. Um, and with the Knight of Pentacles, and it's just bad news. It is bad news, but he doesn't care. Very bad news. Uh, he doesn't want to work on it because the Knight of Pentacles, it's a job. I'm not going to go do that. Who's paying me? Where's the payola? Give me some payola for my bank account. There's no money in it, so I'm not showing up, so it's full stop. I, I, I refuse to do anything. I am full stop right here. I am not moving. I've been unmasked. And it's been shocking, and I don't like that, but no, no, I'm going nowhere here. So very selfish, uh, very lazy, very inconsiderate, antisocial, who is just a covert narcissist. Unbelievable. Then we have here, yeah, defeat. Total defeat, unwanted, uh, unwanted situation. It feels like death, uh, total destruction. Uh, there's no healing the situation. He's just going to think that's not my problem. I'm inconsiderate. I don't care if, if people are, are really falling apart. I don't care if there's mental collapse and unwanted hospital stays from young girls being, um, teed, ard and bead. Um, yeah, I don't care. You know, no, no, no I, I, you know, I'm stuck here. I'm stuck here where I'm at and I can't leave. It's a little too dangerous. And it's not my problem. There's no money in it. It's not my family. And my family's not going to pay for me to go. And I'm not with my family right now, so I'm not going to go. So that, that's another reason he's going to use it. Well, I, I really don't have the, uh, the money right now. I don't have the security. So he also wants the security because this is security too. Have feeling secure, secure and stable. Well, it's not stable and secure enough. And someone might want to kill me. Someone might want to kill me, literally kill me and take me out. And it's just simply not secure enough. I'm not going to do that job. So now he's going to claim that um, that Africa is too dangerous for him to travel to. That's what I'm getting right there. Let's get to the past position that doesn't serve. 
Yeah, I said goodbye to them. I said, I thought I changed things for a while, but now I said goodbye. I said goodbye. I'm not showing up. Yeah, so he let it go. I let it go. I said goodbye already. I mean, the end was already in the past. So I'm trying to change myself with my new my new lifestyle of playing. But I'm running out of money with my new lifestyle. But I said goodbye to them. Yeah, you sure did. Let's see. Feelings in the situation. Feelings in the situation. Oh, well. There we go. Now that flipped over. Did you guys see that? So he wants money. Where's the paycheck? Where's the payola? I got a bill. I have a private jet, too. Who Who's going to collect me who's gonna help me get there and because he's got to travel with drugs i feel he has to travel with drugs yeah there's the overindulgences there the alcoholic position you know really going at it hard uh yeah i need my drugs so who's gonna take my drugs because i don't want to get in trouble with the law i don't want justice to come for me because i know that um i'll get arrested and it's corrupt and I got to lie about it and take my drugs with me. Pretend I'm supporting them. But really, I'm trying to control the direction and the situation. He's not going anywhere. He's going to stay home. He's going to do drugs, lots of drugs. Drugs, drink, and uh, do morally corrupt stuff. Bad behavior. And he doesn't care of the consequences. So he doesn't care. He can't take his drugs. And then he's going to blame also, oh, I'm a father. He'll also use the father excuse. And I'm going to try to be at peace at home with my kids and play daddy while I'm doing drugs and doing morally corrupt stuff. <laughs> wow. And let's get to the outside influences, outside influences, outside influence for Harry. There it is. Outside influences. Ooh, I'm a star. I'm a star. Who's paying for this and giving me all the luxuries but I, so I don't have to spend the money? I'm keeping my money. Who's going to give me the star treatment? Who's going to give me the star treatment? Then I'll show up, maybe. But he needs the security. He needs that full-blown star treatment. Otherwise, it's over. We're done. He really did uh, adopt that psychopathic mindset of Megan. And that narcissism is really on fire. He needs lithium, too. Here we go. Hopes and fears. Hopes and fears. Hopes and fears. Hopes and fears. I'm going to take that one. It's popped out. He's trying to have fun. I'm doing what, dri what, I, what drives me. Yeah, I'm, I'm indifferent. I'm not emotionally attached. I'm not bonded. It's not good enough for me. I really don't care. Uh, ask someone else. I'm going to be a little aloof and avoidant. I'm avoiding the situation and I'm focusing on what moves me. I'm trying to have fun here. You want to rekindle? Yeah, it's a little bit platonic here. You know, maybe I will. Maybe I will. But I don't know. I'm trying to have fun. Really trying to enjoy life. Trying to accept people. I should accept it. But it's once again emotionally unstable. You know, it's a foreign reverse. So I'm going to say there's restrictions here. There's restrictions. I have no control. I feel insecure. People don't love me. So I'm avoiding the situation. Total avoidant because he's not loved. He's not liked. He's not being treated like royalty star with a jet picking him up. And it's been too much of a headache too. Everything's too much of a headache for him to bother with it. It's too combative. So no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm just trying to be harmonious at home. And that's just busted criminal position. He's been busted. It's like being arrested, being arrested. They know what I did wrong. All right. Someone else can fix it. Let's get to the final outcome. Harry and the African situation. Harry and the African situation. Final outcome. Well, I just went down the wrong path. I shouldn't have taken that one. I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have pretended because I'm not committed. Uh, the Page of Pentacles, once again, I'm a 12-year-old. I'm only 12 years old. Don't be mad at me. Uh, 12 year, this 12-year-old 12 um, is a dropout. So he's dropping out. He's a dropout. I don't care. I'm lazy. I'm very lazy. Yeah, we know that. He's lazy, unproductive, and he's going to procrastinate. He might procrastinate. And say, well, I'll get there when I have my fun. I'm done with what I'm having fun. Maybe I'll show up after my fun. Uh, it's also a very isolated feeling. Uh, it's bad news. It's back to bad news. So I had two bad news cards on the table. He knows it's bad news, but he doesn't care. And he's not dedicated. He's not loyal to it. He's not dedicated to it. That page of Pentacles in reverse is extremely arrested development. This is like a very young child here. This is like probably an eight-year-old brain saying, nope, nope, I don't have to do that. 
don't you know i'm a star i don't have to do that i need the star quality treatment here so and, and he feels too arrest too busted and he doesn't want to take accountability uh he feels he knows he's like a bad seed you know that's like a ace of pentacles in reverse for me uh when i see a page like that because it's a value of zero uh, a pages are so i like to kind of refer to it as like an ace of pentacles in reverse with the page of pentacles in reverse so it's like no i'm not starting anything new uh, i got the seed of doubt going in i'm kind of greedy i'm in debt i'm not paying to go uh, i'm just going to delay it and set and may have setbacks here i've got a little bit of setback I'm, he's going to say i have a little bit of a setback showing up I'm, i've got money problems but really the problem is he wants to be treated like an a-class star the problem is he knows he's hated. The problem is he knows he's guilty. The problem is there's accountability and he doesn't want to take ownership for it. That's the actual truth. But he'll blame it on, oh, I've got children. I got my, you know, he needs his drugs. But I got all these other things going on and he's just never going to take ownership for anything. So this is why he needed to stay under the royal fold. He should have never left because he could have kept up the image and the facade for a long, for indefinitely, really. Here we go. Six of Pentacles in reverse. It's extortion. Yeah, you need to pay me. I'm not helping you unless I get something out of it. And if I don't get something out of it, I'm not traveling in and taking on this challenge. So it's the, it's a chariot in reverse. He mentally cannot handle it. And he knows that he's expected to. And it, it, he just can't do a give and take relationship. There is no give and take. What are you going to pay? What are you going to pay me to come do this work for you and fulfill this promise? I'm not doing it. I refuse. Uh, I've got a little bit of a health battle going on right now. Really, his health battle, if he claims health battle, is why I'm having fun. I'm having a health battle with drugs, really. He's having a health battle with drugs, and he needs to travel with his drugs, but they probably won't let him. Also, that's another problem. Uh, he needs that. No, you can't do it. And no, that's extortion. He would have to extort uh, people to pay for silence, too. He would have to extort in order to get the stuff in. And he needs it. If he can't get it, he can't take on the challenge because he's an addict. An addict needs it in order to work and to fill a promise and to do a give and take. But he can't. So he needs to extort people in order to get what he wants, in order to come in and do the job. Uh, also is another reason. Uh, yeah, he can't function without it. And that's another reason why he travels on private all the time. That's why he's always on private is because of that. Let's go a little deeper. What do I have here? Yeah, and then there's no no Harry if there's no Megan, too. Uh, he prefers to be with her, too. He needs her just as much, I guess. But, nope, you're not going to have me break up disinterested, two in reverse, breaking ties, breaking chalices. I have no interest in this. I'm not showing up. Hey, it's not about me. I don't care. I didn't do that to those girls. It wasn't me this time. Well, this time. It was someone else. But, I don't know. Yeah, all right, who cares? I don't, I'm disinterested. I don't care what happened to them. Uh, then we have here, and yeah, just kind of dropping the wand, no enthusiasm, doesn't care, uh, can't cope with the situation, two of pentacles in reverse, there's no money in it, two of pentacles of upright is you're getting a little bit of payment for it, also have the full free ride of travel, they're not interested, he's not doing it, they can't provide it, okay, it's done and over with, and I'm not coming in. Another, another night in reverse, I'm not coming in, I refuse to make any changes, He's, he's become like a total diva of demands. Total diva of demands and entitlement. And then we have here the Knight of Cups upright and finding love. So he's going to play, be a little free. He's looking just like Megan is. He's playing. He's having a good old time. And he's looking to have women to hook up with. He'll just look at it at that way at, as that too. Well, they're just guys having hookups. You know, what's the problem here? Uh, is how he's going to probably perceive it through his lens, which is there's no problem here. Uh, he doesn't care. So that's how I see it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And until next time, like and subscribe. Bye, you guys.